Got to talk to voters. Was it Harris's race or gender? Was it Trump's attack on immigrants? Or was it the economy stupid, as the old saying goes? And was that issue locked in long before election night? Madam Vice President. In early 2021, President Biden was riding high, his approval well over 50 percent. But coming out of COVID, inflation spiked to its highest level in 40 years. Prices on appliances, groceries, and gasoline hit record highs. The prices are getting crazy. $124, not even full tank. Biden tried to tame inflation. I wrote a thing called the Inflation Reduction Act. This year, the American people won. But for two years, the annual inflation rate averaged above 7%. Biden's approval ratings plunged. And then he decided to go for a second term. That's why I'm running for re-election. But he remained unpopular. And by the time Biden left the race 14 months later, his low approval was like an anchor for Kamala Harris's campaign. Frankly, the Harris campaign and even Joe Biden at one point could not outrun inflation. And Joe Biden's popularity never recovered. History suggests an administration's re-election chances depend a lot on the approval of a sitting president. Ronald Reagan's re-election in 1984, Bill Clinton's in 96, George W. Bush and Barack Obama all had approval ratings around or above 50 percent just before their re-election victories. Jimmy Carter, on the other hand, at the end of his first term and George H.W. Bush and Donald Trump in 2020 were all well below that and lost their bids for re-election. At 41 percent, Biden, it seems, left Kamala Harris with too little time and too much ground to make up. Yeah, president really needs to be above 40 percent, mid 40s, high 40s for either uh, him or his successor to do well. In the election, Harris outperformed Biden's approval ratings, but even some Democratic voters still wanted change. I feel like I can't vote for the Democrats and what they have done. These days, the American electorate is so polarized that once you've lost people, it's hard to get them back. While inflation has come down, prices have not. And voters, it seems, were going to hold Democrats responsible, whether it was Biden or Harris at the top of the ticket. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.